Good evening, everyone. I'm Lindsay Deaton, and welcome to On The Go with BCSO. I would like to start by thanking everyone from the Brevard County Sheriff's Office who came out to walk in the first Christmas parade this past Saturday in Vieira. And also thanks to the community for their support they showed our office. If you missed it, here's a list of parades your Brevard County Sheriff's Office will be participating in this year. Now meet our pet of the week, Donnie. Donnie was brought to us as a stray in September. He is a very sweet boy who loves to take walks and have his chin scratched. Donnie would make a great family pet and deserves a loving home. If you would like to meet Donnie or any of our other great pets, please visit our South Animal Care Center. We would like to ask everyone to remember we are in need of your old bikes. So if you have any bikes you do not need anymore, please place them on the curb on your regular trash day. Just leave a note to deliver them to the Sheriff's Office and Waste Management will bring it to our work farm where it will be refurbished and given to a child in need this Christmas. Now for an update on some recent cases. Deputies responded to a residence in reference to reports of shots being fired. Upon arrival, deputies encountered a white male identified as Douglas Roller, who matched the suspect's description given by the witness. The investigation revealed that in, while intoxicated, Mr. Roller discharged his shotgun four times in his backyard. Witnesses also observed Mr. Roller in a verbal argument with another male threatening his life. Mr. Roller was taken to the Bavard County Jail and the case is now being referred to the state attorney's office for prosecution. Also, Joshua Kyle Smith was intoxicated when he interfered with a battery investigation Corporal Lockhart was working. Smith was detained after being told to leave and refusing. While being detained, he resisted for a few minutes as a crowd gathered. He was charged with two counts of battery on LEO, resisting arrest with violence, resisting arrest without violence, disorderly intoxication, and misuse of 911. Thank you for watching this episode of On The Go with BCSO and for all the support you give to the Bavard County Sheriff's Office. I'm Lindsay Deaton and we'll see you next week on another episode of On The Go with BCSO.